let's discuss uh, the relation in gravitational field strength and gravitational potential in a field we can simply state uh, by the definition of potential at a point gravitational potential at a point that it is a work done in uh, bringing a unit mass from infinity to a point in the gravitational field so we can write if this is a gravitational field region and a mass of 1 kg or a test mass of unit value is brought from infinity to a point p uh, we can simply state the potential will be negative of integration of gravitational forces acting on the mass dot uh, dx from infinity to p as f dot dx will be the work done by gravitational field negative we have applied because if x is decreasing and in this situation equal and opposite force f is applied on to it so there is a work done by external agent in bringing the unit mass from infinity to this point and we can simply write for a unit mass by the definition of gravitational field strength force of gravity is equals to g vector which we already studied Uh, the value of or the magnitude of gravitational field strength at any point uh, is the force experienced by unit mass uh, in the field at that point. So we can simply write the potential at a point. We can write as negative of integration from infinity to p g dot dx. Uh, this is the way to calculate the gravitational potential at a point uh, if uh, the expression of g vector is known in the surrounding region. and we can simply state as g is the force on a unit mass and v is the potential energy of unit mass in a region we can also define or relate g and v by using the term of gradient like for a region we can write that g vector and v can be related as Here g is the force on a unit mass, v is the potential energy of unit mass. So this can be related as g vector as negative of del v, or we can write as this negative of gradient of potential. As g is a conservative field, this is for conservative fields. So we can relate the force and energy relationship, which we already studied in the section of dynamics. and here if we substitute the values we can write for unidimensional and for three dimensional fields let's continue on the next sheet as we have just now discussed that the gradient relationship can be written between g vector and gravitational potential and here we know that this gradient operator is equivalent to del over del x i cap Plus del over del y g cap plus del over del z k cap. This we can use, and uh, in this situation uh, for unidirectional variation in field, here we can use directly if only say along x direction uh, g is varying. so g can be written as negative of dv over dx i cap as it is only varying along one direction only so we can write that if we plot a curve between gravitational potential and the position so we can write that g vector is the negative of slope of curve of potential versus position so whenever a curve is plotted in gravitational potential and position the negative of slope at any point gives us the value of g vector and for 3d variation in field we can directly use the gradient operator here so in this situation g vector will be given as negative of uh, del v over del x i cap plus del v over del y j cap plus uh, del v over del z k cap this is the expression we'll use for three dimensional variation in gravitational field
these results are also useful so keep it in your formula list if you are making any and soon we'll see their applications also